I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. And today I want to talk to you guys about getting pets for your kids during holiday times. So Easter's coming up. I know a lot of parents are saying, oh my gosh, let's go and get these cute fluffy things. The crows are disagreeing with me. So you might be a parent and you might say, oh, look at that bunny. Isn't that bunny cute? Look at him. Isn't he cute? You are cute. It's not a lie. You're very cute, sweetie. But if you get your your if you get your kid a bunny, be prepared to take care of it. Um, they do, as pets, they do um, live quite a while. And so that's something to think about. Know what breed you are getting so you know a little bit about them, how big they're gonna get. This little bunny's little teeny tiny right now, but it is a meat breed. So um, if you want a bigger rabbit, that's that's fine. These guys, um, I don't know, the, the adults I treat, the breeders, the breeders I treat as pets, so they actually are very, very sociable with me and love pets and all of that. This crow, what is up with you, crow? Uh, and they're very sociable with me. So uh, they do, you know, give affection and all of that, but it's going to get a lot bigger. So know what size you're getting, know the care. Um, there's a lot of people who think rabbits eat only carrots. You know, carrots are really good for rabbits. In the cartoons, you know, Bugs Bunny and all that has kind of spread this message. Carrots aren't that great, right? They're good for a little bit. They should not be living off of carrots. They should not be living off of any one thing. Um, it's okay to give them certain types of, of food, but you should also incorporate a pellet. Um, they sell, you know, rabbit food. And the reason is there's minerals in there, there's nutrients in there that, that are made for a rabbit diet. So I say go that way, um, go that route, and you know you can give them treats. Treats should be leafy greens, um, dandelion greens, they love those, dandelion flowers, um, those kinds of things. A carrot, they love the greens of the carrot. But a carrot, you know, a big, big carrot or lots of fruits can give them too much sugar and can give them some other issues. Uh, another thing to stay away from are things like, you know, a lot of broccoli because uh, rabbits don't fart. You don't. I know. It's so surprising. So, uh, things to consider before you get a rabbit for your kid. Um, if it's for a pet, you know, same thing holds for any pet. Are you going to uh, pick up after it? Are you going to train it? Are you going to do all these things if your kid doesn't? If your kid doesn't, what are the consequences to that animal? So it doesn't matter what kind of animal you get. And we'll, sh we'll show you some quail chicks um, after I put him away. Him or her, I haven't, don't know what you are yet. And we'll go from there. So. That's another thing to check if you're getting a rabbit for a pet. If it has a friend, um, know if they are male or female, and if you have one of either one of each, you may consider um, getting going to the vet and getting them fixed. Otherwise, you might have a lot of babies on your hands. Not might, you will. <laughs> and uh, so, just keep that in mind. I know that that crow is very scary, isn't it? I know okay you're all right this is uh this one's first time out it can see mom if it i don't think you're looking mom's over there say hi but this is his first time out out of being with mom uh so please consider the life of the animal that you are bringing into your family and that uh it should be well taken care of the diet should be good uh, they do need something to chew on so that's something to think about if you're getting a rabbit is they need to chew they are obligate chewers they have to chew so rabbits teeth grow forever 
they will never grow to full length they will continue to grow so they're not like our teeth where our baby teeth come in and they go out and then we have our permanent adult teeth these guys have teeth that grow and grow and grow and do not stop growing so because of that they need to have something to chew on that is safe and so you can look up what woods are safe for your rabbit apple and willow are are really good those are kind of the standby those are kind of what you're going to see all the toys made out of um in the pet store now frankly you can put a stick in there and they will be just as entertained as you know a ball um, but you can train them i haven't with mine because mine are meat rabbits but um you can train them so huh you ready to go back to mom so i am going to go get probably a couple of quail chicks and show them to you next because chicks are another thing that get given as gifts at Easter time. All right, little baby. Ready to go back to mom? Say bye to the camera. Oh. The same goes for quail chicks and for chicken chicks and for duck chicks. Anything fluffy. Okay, they're super cute. They are. You're adorable. You are so adorable. They're super cute. They have to stay warm. They have to be fed the right kind of food. So, your little chicks, they have to be warm, okay? I'm keeping them in my hands. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys. So, look like that. Okay. Whenever you see a fluffy bird, they don't have the capability of keeping themselves warm. Okay? There are many ways that you can keep them warm. And if you're getting them for a pet, again, um, or not for a pet, you know, some people have, you know, I have chickens, I have quail, um, they have, you know, a quail I raise for food and for for meat and eggs and the chickens I raise for uh, well they're pets that poop breakfast <laughs> for their eggs and they have you guys are comfy in my warm hands huh uh, they uh, they do they're gonna give you eggs they're gonna give you company they're gonna give you a lot of things but if you are again um, getting these for your kids as a pet then you need to understand some things about them. So one, know what you're getting. It's not just a fluffy bird. Know what you're getting. Um, quail chicks have different diet requirements than chicken chicks. They need a lot higher protein than chicken chicks. Um, turkey chicks, you know, if you're just going into, you know, a feed store and picking out a fluffy bird for your kid, know what it is, know what it's gonna grow up to be. And that sounds very simple, but every year there's stories of people going, oh my gosh, I didn't know how big it was gonna get. I didn't know it was gonna poop this much. I didn't know it was gonna do whatever. Um, these guys do have poop and their poop stinks unless you take care of it appropriately. <laughs> so, um, it is starting to rain. We are underneath an umbrella, so that is okay. <laughs> so, they need heat. And what heat means is when they're this little, they need like 90 degrees. They need, 85 degrees in you know in a week they need um, to be quite warm they don't need that all the time they need a place where they can go to, to get that so whether that is I mean they're fairly comfortable with my hand but whether that is using a brooder plate which is what I use or a heat lamp heat lamps if you're going to use those make sure you know the dangers of fire um, that can go along with that you can also use a reptile lamp. I don't know how far the heat goes from there and you're gonna to have to experiment with that. But the number one, this is me making up a statistic, but from what I have observed, uh, from the comments I have received, the number one thing that people don't understand about chicks when they're, when they're again, fluffy like this, is that they they don't put heat on them and they need heat and it's really 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 important that they have heat uh, because if they don't they will die and it will be your fault and i hate to say it like that 
but avoiding these things is best, especially when you've just given your kid a nice fluffy bird and the next day it's dead. So <clears throat> do your research, know what bird you're getting, know what animal you're getting, what rabbit you're getting, and follow through. Follow through on how long do these um, live, how big do they get, what their food needs are, do they need extra heat? The answer is yes if it's a bird. If it's a bunny, they should already be weaned. Um, that one definitely is not weaned and again it's it's bigger than a lot of pet sizes. Um, but things to consider, please be responsible in your gifting and you guys are all cuddly aren't you? Let's show you guys again. Be responsible in your gifting. Make sure your kids are responsible uh, with their new pets and have a wonderful Easter. So this is going out on the Thursday before Easter because I want you guys to be well aware. Most people get these guys like the day before. <laughs> so I want you to be well aware of this and have a wonderful Easter and enjoy the day. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. And hopefully when you bring home your new pet for your kids, they will love them and they will still be alive <laughs> later. Huh? Look at these snuggly bugs. All right, thank you for watching. Enjoy the day. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do a whole lot of homesteading videos on here. Um, I raise my animals for meat and eggs. You don't have to. <laughs> I also have gardening videos and cooking videos and building videos, anything homestead related. So um, enjoy the channel, enjoy the day, and have a wonderful Easter.